Some quick comments on the Energizer Power Station. This one is rated for 320 watt hours of energy with 300 watts of power. I've had it for a few days and we've been running some tests. The first thing is um, when it's on, it uh, will turn the display off after about two minutes. So any button turns the display back on without actually changing anything. But uh, the first thing to really uh, mention is it uses lithium ion phosphate batteries, LFP. Now, that does make this heavier. This is about four kilograms or just under nine pounds. But the LFP batteries, they give you more life. You get 2,000 cycles if you take this all the way down to zero, or 5,000 cycles if you only take this down to about 20%. So um, if for some reason there's damage or this gets dropped, something shorts out, the LFP batteries are, are uh, much more resistant to any sort of um, fire or explosion compared to the NMC. So a uh, bit of a trade-off, like I said, does weigh a bit more than the NMC type power packs. Um, one nice thing that this has, if you're using it with a solar panel, is the input when you're charging it, it does tell you how much it's charging at. Now this is a 60 watt charging uh, adapter and of course uh, at 90% you'll see this get pretty close. In fact, I think this goes over. As you get close to 100, of course, it starts to taper that off and you won't get anything close to 60. But that's really useful when you're charging a, um, with a solar panel because you can optimize your panel to make sure that you're getting more power out of it. Uh, one really important thing is this actually is capable of um, pulling or producing significantly more than 300 watts. It's rated for 300 watts, but um, I kind of hunted through the house trying to find something that would suck down a little bit more. Now, it wouldn't do 500 watts. It shut down pretty quick, but uh, you can hear the cooling fan go on. It's got, it's got two cooling fans, one on each side. But I was able to keep this at 370 watts, give or take, um, basically for well over five minutes. And the, uh, the rice cooker actually shut off because there's, there's nothing in it. So I didn't really feel like I really wanted to push it too much. But I think the point here is it's not just a surge. It, it does have the ability to, uh, to keep that higher. And I suspect what will happen is, oh, well, that time it didn't. Okay. So I had it five minutes earlier today, but um, obviously there, that was probably just a couple minutes. But um, anyways, let's see. You can charge and get AC at the same time. And um, I guess the last thing is this display reads just a touch high. It's about four or five uh, percent higher than what the kilowatt device was measuring. But as you saw there, um, if uh, you over current it, you just turn things back on. And it, oh, let's here, let's let's not let's not challenge it so much again. Um, on warm, it only takes forty some watts, and so this is okay at that point. Uh, there is a uh, let's kind of look at some of the other features. Obviously, two USBs, uh, Cs, two regular USBs. A, uh, a 12 volt out, a conventional 12 volt out with a nice dust cap. I'm always worried about things falling in there and shorting it out. Uh, it's got the two plugs, although you will be a little bit challenged if you've got two large prongs, uh, three, three prong uh, trying to go into the same outlet there. And then on the other side, you do have a very bright uh, lantern with a couple different settings. The, um, the handle on this, very solid. The case, quite solid. No rattles, some really, really nice grippy uh, feet on the bottom. So overall, quite impressed. And um, anyways, if you have any other questions, uh, just go ahead and put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.